Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm on a class 150. I'm at Buxton, but it's still got the first Great Western moquettes on. It's one that's been transferred to Northern. So we've arrived here at Buxton and today we're going to go to the miniature railway in the park in Buxton. But before that, a few things I want to show you railway wise and about the town. Still got semaphore signals, which of course I really like. Here we are, some 150s for you. And um, just here, they're, where they're building houses now, this is where Peak Rail was originally. They had a museum here, you could get up on the steam train, have a little ride, but then they moved to Rowsley. And over there used to be Buxton Diesel Depot. I'm just going to show you some bits around the station. It was once a much larger station than it is today. I'll talk about that in a moment. It's quite a nice mural all along this fence. And um, then we're going to head down through the town centre and we're going to go and visit the miniature railway in Buxton. Now, if you have a look here, there's this rather nice tiled mural. So where are we? We're here, the railway station, which opened in 1863. We're making our way to the park here. This is where the miniature railway is. But on the way, I'm going to show you things like the Royal Crescent and the Opera House. So we're going to do that. I just want to introduce you to a friend of mine first. It's this guy here. Always say hello to him. He's so cool. He's made out of bits of old railway um, stuff. So we've got like, this is a ground signal. We've got various other bits all welded together. He's a really cool guy. So if you ever come to Buxton, make sure you say hello to him. We're now going to head up here. There's one thing I simply cannot show you or cannot come to Buxton without showing you. Sorry. And that is just at the end of the platform. I'm a big fan of it. So I need it. I'm going to show it to you. And that is the window here. Always been a big fan of the window at Buxton Station. Now there was actually once an overall roof here over the whole station. And the station was also twice its size, but more of that in a moment. Another thing, in front of the fan window, there's a quite a cool little Japanese garden. It's um, really a bit of an unusual railway station. <laughs> that guy fishing, he looks a bit angry. There's an old railway sleeper there. And there's the class 150s. I do like 150s. Well, I like sprinters really, just because they're now some of the older DMUs on the network. So um, always enjoy a trip on any kind of sprinter, but especially 150s, I, I just enjoy a trip on. Anyway, we're now going to leave the railway station. We're heading towards the Opera House. We're not going into the Opera House, but we're going to go into the building next door. So, oh, but there is also something else to do with the railway station I want to show you before we leave, and that's here. We go into the ticket office. Here in the ticket office is a rather cool model of Buxton Station. I think it's really nice we have this model here. You can see how it would have looked with the overall roof. There's a LMS loco. So this is how the station, you can see the fan window in the background. Funny juxtaposition of the 150 in the further background. So this is how the station would have looked. Now, um, there's also some double O gauge models here. I particularly like it. They've got a model of Leander because when I first came to Buxton on a steam train, Leander hauled that rail tour. If you have a look around here at the fan window, you can see some various other old vehicles. Now, it, there was actually two once. It was like a twin station. If you have a look on that picture there, you can see how there were two fan windows. And the area out here was the station forecourt. So if we head out here, this is now the station forecourt. So there'd have been a mirror image just there. Now, if we look at the fan window, you can see the fan window there. The other one would have been, see where that, just there, where that bloke in the blue thing is, um, and where it's all covered in ivy now, but that was the other fan window. So this would have been a forecourt and there were two terminal sets of platforms, each with a fan window. I'm gonna head down there now, down to the town centre, and um, we're eventually gonna to get to the miniature railway. So I've just come down from the railway station now, just there, you can see a water crane. Now that is when Peak Rail was based here at Buxton, but then they moved to their current site down at Rowsley. Now, if we look round here, you can see that really quite spectacular viaduct towering above Buxton, 
That is the old peak line. It currently goes up as far as Hindlow. And I went on the one and only rail tour they've ever done with steam up there since the end of the 60s. What we're going to do now, I'm going to run into Waitrose and grab a coffee, and then we're going to go and explore Buxton properly. So I've been to Waitrose. That building over there, that is the Palace Hotel. That's subject of a different video, I'm putting a link in now. I've now come to the university. This is an amazing building, you can't see it, there's a huge dome. So I'm gonna quickly show you inside. It's actually a campus of Derby University, but it is possibly one of the most amazing buildings you'll see. It was originally a hospital, if you look it says Devonshire Hospital, because it was built by the Duchess of Devonshire, who lives at Chatsworth, that's another place we should go and visit one day. So we go in here through this door. It's one of these funny doors. It's amazing. Oh, it's nice and warm, what you're about to see. I'll just so you can see what the building looks like. I'll show you on that picture. So we've just come in through those doors and we're gonna see in this dome. So this is what it looks like inside. Look at it, it's amazing. Can you imagine studying in a place like this? Now something funny is gonna happen in a moment. As I walk into the middle, my voice will start echoing and everything I say you'll be able to hear a split second later. So can you hear that now? I'm speaking now and you can hear it repeating myself. So that's quite funny. I can't clap because I'm holding a camera but if I can... I'll tell you what, Listen, watch this. See the noise it makes? So strange. I won't keep doing it because I don't want to annoy them. But just look at this building, it's amazing. I just think it must have been amazing to have studied somewhere like that, and that's right up to the ceiling. Um, yeah, it's a really cool building. It's rare to see it this quiet. Normally, there's an event on or something, but since I've come here when there isn't an event, what do? I'm just going upstairs and um, we'll see the building from above. Well, it won't echo there because it only echoes when you're in the middle. Then, what we're going to do, we're going to carry on down through the town centre and um, we're going to go and have a look at a few more landmarks in Buxton before we finally finish at the miniature railway that we've come here to see. So here we are, we're upstairs now. Look at this, all these columns. Never counted them, but just so many of them. There must be 60 odd columns. So that's where we were when we were making the noise. I think this is it's just such an amazing building. It'd be amazing to study here. Anyway, I'm now going to head out. We're going to go and look at the Crescent next. So. Let's um, carry on our exploration of Buxton. So I've just come up from Buxton Town Centre. You can still see the railway station just over there. And what I wanted to show you on my way to the Miniature Railway is Buxton's Royal Crescent. And this is why Buxton is quite often known as Bath of the North, because it has a Royal Crescent like Bath does. It's under restoration at the moment, and they're also restoring some of the baths so Buxton can relive up to its name as a spa town so it's it really is a very pleasant place to visit but obviously in my books it's made more exciting the fact that we've got a miniature railway we can head to so I'm now going to carry on walking along here I've got one more place I want to show you before we get to the miniature railway So we've now come down from the Royal Crescent and we are heading up towards the Opera House and the Pavilion Gardens, which is this building here. Now there's one bit I particularly like. There's some indoor gardens, which um, I think are really pleasant. You've probably just already hear the horn of the train. I just heard it. So we're nearly at the Miniature Railway that we've come to Buxton to visit today. So if we go into here, it's kind of like, um, it's a lot warmer inside. Okay it's created an atmosphere where more plants can grow. Look at that. I think this is really nice. Fit, and obviously I can't show it to you on camera, but it's a lot warmer in here than it is outside. And um, I just think it's a really nice place to walk through. So we're gonna go up here now, um, and we're gonna head out the other side to where the railway is. So look, there's even a pond, an indoor pond with fish inside it. You can just see. Maybe, I don't know how well you can see that, but there, there are fish in the pond. Um, we're now going to carry on through here, and um, we're going to go outside to where the railway is. So 
So we're just going through these doors. That way there's um, a cafe and there's a pub and various other things. And then we come out here and you can see the whole of the pavilion gardens.
Well, I've just had a very enjoyable trip on the train. It's just gone off on another journey. You can just hear the horn. It'll be coming round again, um, just crossing the river over there. So we'll see the train pass again in a moment. Um, and um, I'm now going to head back to the station. So if you're ever in Buxton or Derbyshire area, do come and visit this railway. Or even if you're in Manchester, do um, jump on the train down to Buxton and have a ride on this really pleasant little railway. And um, you can spend time in the park and the pavilion gardens over there. Here comes the train, he's coming back again now, so it really is worth a visit. So um, please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends about Henry's Adventures and about this railway. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.